fine day. So as you guys can see by the title, I am dyeing this hair a red color, black cherry. Um, anyways, this is actually a wig I had made myself. I did it myself, all by myself. And um, I watched a whole lot of YouTube videos and figured that I could try it on my own. I'm pretty creative and I'm really good with my hands. So I thought I could do that. So I did it and I love it. I love wearing the wig. I mean, it feels good. It feels natural. It doesn't... I think I was scared because all the ones that I've ever tried were synthetic and I, it just kind of turned me off. So I stayed away from the wigs for a long time. But I do like the fact that... I can actually take this off, condition my hair, treat my hair under under hair, and then I don't have to go to bed with all this hair on my head. So I still tie my hair up at night, but my hair under here is braided down neatly. Um, my hair is has a nice moisture um, on it. I moisturized it. I um, plaited up and I braided it back, and I mean it just works out perfectly. So, anyways, today I'm going to try and. Um, diet by myself too so i watched the youtube video and i think i could do it so hopefully i can and this is the trick to not get my closure with any of the dye on it so that's the tricky part so i'm going to jump right into the video get to dye on this hair and hopefully and pray that it comes out okay all right guys so wish me luck Okay, so in this video, I am going to be using um, Got To Be Glued, Ultra Glued Styling Gel because this is supposed to help with not allowing the um, paint or the um, color to seep through onto your closure. And I'm using Jazzing. Um, it's a, a, a Gento hair color. It's actually a... Um, cellophane and this is what I normally use when I dye my hair because I like I said before I have a really bad allergic reaction to hair dye and that really sucks for me but I'm trying to get this to focus anyways this color is black cherry and I have three of them because I just want to make sure I have enough and then I have Marlo this is my girl she's going to be helping me out with um, dyeing my closure so that I could be very careful and also we're going to be using this um, brush to brush um, kind of close to the hair net so that I don't get any on to the actual net. So let's go. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention a blow dryer. That's something else you will need to dye your wig. Okay, so I'm going to start with my closure and I'm going to use the got to be glued to use as a protective to actually um, seal the, the, the knot so that no uh, cellophane or color will seep through. So now that I am done uh, drying the glue on here, it's kind of hard and it looks gross, but I can understand how it would protect because it's really hard. Can you hear it? It's almost like plastic. So now I'm going to put this on top of the, the wig head and start the coloring process.
All right, guys, so I'm done coloring the hair. I've added all of the uh, cellophane into the hair and I'm just letting it sit. I'm trying to let it sit for as long as I can because I really want it to change and get to the color that I want. But I don't know if that's gonna come out because the hair is so dark, but at least you'll be able to see it in the sun. And the little method with the got to be glue looks like it actually worked because there's no stains on the closure at all. So I'm excited about um, finding this that video and doing it myself. So now I know what to do in the future. But now she's just marinating, guys. So I will be back when, once she's rinsed out and washed. I think I'm going to leave this in for another 20 minutes and see where we go from there. Okay, you guys, so I've already um, let the color sit in the hair for quite some time now. I hope I did not damage the hair by letting it sit for so long, but um, it sat for almost two hours because I really want to get that color to just pop and get rid of that grandma brown that I did the video on once, once before. So... I'm just rinsing all the hair out and um, that method actually really really works but what I did notice that I, I should have done different was put a, uh, a plastic shower cap on the styrofoam head before I put this down on the why I didn't think of that or why I didn't do it because the girl that um, video I saw she actually did it I just missed that whole step so before placing your closure on top of your um your head the, the mannequin head be sure to put some type of plastic bag or some sort of um you know plastic uh, shower cap disposable one so that you don't get the styrofoam stuck to your closure like this but it's no big deal because i'm able to take it off anyways it's kind of like more so on on the glue so it's no big deal it's, it's coming off now next i'm going to be using the keratin smooth color um, by tresemme shampoo and this is what i'm going to use to wash the hair out with and i also have the conditioner as well as well it's the expert one and it has the moroccan oil in it so these are the two, even though I'm almost out of this, but it should be good enough for this, this wash here. And I've already got most of the color out. My water has already changed colors. It's not as dark. So that lets me know that whatever's coming out is pretty much out. Okay, so now everything is all rinsed out and I washed it really, really good. I'm going to now put in my conditioner and I'm gonna let it sit for about 20 minutes. I'm gonna let it sit for about a good 20 minutes here in the sink. And I gotta say that I am actually really, 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 really enjoying the wig 
because it is just so convenient like i can do this without it being on my head and you know i can wash it real easily in the sink and get all up in there i mean i'm really really like it because i was a little annoyed too by having to um when you're wearing your weaves you have to sit under the dryer and let it air dry or or let it air dry or just sit under the dryer for hours on end just to get that um your braids up underneath your hair um a chance to to dry so that your hair does not smell like mildew so wearing wigs like this has really been a pleasure because i am really enjoying it so like i said i'm just gonna let it sit here and it's been really good very inexpensive and it was perfect um for just like everyday hair and just just really really nice hair as far and especially for the price so i'll link it below if i can figure it out don't hold me to that because i really haven't gotten that far yet in youtube so keep your fingers crossed that i can and i'll be linking it down below so i'm back now it's time to rinse her off one more time i have some cool water and I'm just going to rinse all the conditioner out so she can go and rest for the night. I'm going to put her on that head. And we are both going to call it a night. And just rinse it out. The hair is really nice and soft right now from the conditioner. I love the way it feels it's like butter. feels so you guys so i have her on the on the mannequin head and uh oh i'm snatching her wig off i'm sorry girl hold on to her i'm just using my uh, paddle brush and i'm just gonna uh comb her out really good all the way around getting all the little hairs um from being tangled so that it get air dry all the way through the night and then in the morning i could wake up and put her on 
and have a new color. I am really excited about um, the way that the, the glue helped not get uh, any stains on my closure. I am like really excited about that. YouTube be coming through. All right. So she's all done. And she is ready for bed. And see how I have this um, towel on the floor so that it don't damage my actual floor. But anyways, look how clean it looks up here. It's no, no stains at all. So that worked out perfect. All right, you guys, me and Marlo says good night. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs it up if you liked it. Comment down below if you have any other suggestions or any kind of hair dye that I personally can use without breaking out or having a reaction. Just let us just know. Also, if you are not a part of Life for London, we would love to have you. So go right on ahead, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.